We're just two weeks away now from the NFL draft, and it appears that one tourist attraction won't be open for it. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco is live at what's soon to be a busy downtown airport where the doors to the museum there are padlocked. Dave? And Kevin, it appears it's going to stay that way out here at the hangar just off to my right. As a drawn out legal battle between the airline museum, the city and signature now goes to appeal. While all of Kansas City gears up for the NFL draft, the president of the Airline History Museum is left on the outside looking in at a padlocked door. We're, we're extremely disappointed of, of everything that we could be doing to help represent Kansas City. Inside that museum, the aircraft Harrison Ford famously crashed into a golf course. On the other side of a locked gate, the world's only Lockheed Constellation in full passenger configuration. We don't know what's happening with Signature, birds, birds nest, if they're nesting in the airplanes causing corrosion, um, uh, the water drips, you know, what's happening to our artifacts. You know. The city of Kansas City stipulates to facts in a lawsuit that in 2010, the city and Signature, also known as Executive Beechcraft and Lawsuits, amended a master lease to provide Hangar 9 for zero rent as long as it was used as a non-profit aviation history facility. But in 2019, it removed that zero rent provision. A signature contends that, that we owe rent and we haven't paid rent and that's what they like to tell people. Last year, a Clay County court found in favor of signature in the city, saying the museum owed more than $140,000 in rent and utilities. The museum appealed and says it's posted a bond to cover that rent should it lose an appeal, though it contends the rent-free agreement runs through 2035. Explaining the locks on the doors, a signature flight spokesperson said today, we believe that this ruling was just and fair. AHM has not vacated the premises as the court ordered. Nevertheless, Signature is continuing to preserve the museum's artifacts pending an appellate court's ruling. In its response to the appeal, the city says the museum doesn't explain why the city lacks power to modify the lease and lacks standing as a third party. Now this case is set to be heard on May 4th or probably about three or four days after the last of these jets carrying potential visitors out here to the museum heads out of town and away from the airport.